Hashtag Bible Challenge 365 Day 171, Psalm, Chapter 64 To the Chief Musician, A Psalm of David Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him, and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart, is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear, and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Psalm, chapter 65, to the chief musician, a psalm and song of David. Praise whiteth for thee, O God, in Zion. And unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and cowsest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, O God of our salvation. Who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are afar off upon the sea, which by his strength setteth fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth, and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn, when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou cronest the year with thy goodness. And thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness. And the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy, they also sing. Psalm, chapter 66 to the chief musician, a song or psalm. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Selah, come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power for ever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah, O oh bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us, as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. Thou laidst affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth hath spoken, when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings, with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah, come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily God hath heard me. 
he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Thank you for joining us on day 171 of our 365-day journey in the Bible Challenge 365 series. We're excited to have you with us as we explore the scriptures together over the course of a year. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Your support keeps this journey going and we can't wait to share more with you in the coming days. So, let's continue to learn, grow, and be inspired, as we delve deeper into the Bible Challenge 365 series together. And stay safe, and stay blessed, and God bless.